Hello, hello. May God bless you. May prosper you this day. My name is Rick, and I am the cryptocurrency watchman. Okay, guys, I want to show you something this morning before before we get started. Let me let me move this down just a hair. Okay, I want you to watch these graphs right here. I want you to look at these. The, the, this is a coin market cap, and they give you these little windows of the graphs just to kind of give you an indication. It's not very specific. But it gives you an indication of whether it's going up or down, whatever. You know, they, they, uh, these are pretty much in real time. But I want you to watch these. The top 100, look at this. Every single coin, every one of them is in a downward trend. Not one in the top 100. Now, you might see some in the green. That's because they jumped up, but now they're in a downward trend. I want you you know look at this every coin every coin is on its way down that's the volatility of these markets there there is there is a certain amount of you know manipulation that goes on within these markets um it uh it is absolutely manipulated because you have a lot of money flowing in and out of the you know in and out of these markets and especially overnight you know yesterday we saw we saw green across the board and, you know, trying to, you know, trying to figure some of these coins, you know, sometimes if you, if, if you leave your money in overnight, now if you, if you have your cell set up, you know, I call them stop losses, but, you know, I could, I call them all stop losses because, you know, you want to, you want to make your money, you know, and say, you know, and, and guard against any losses, but, you know, they're really buys and sells and then you have your stop loss. So I need, I really need to be more specific about that as as I'm speaking. Some you know somebody mentioned that the other day, um, but if you you know if you if you have your cells set up you know where you know if you go to bed you know once once you make your profit it sells and you know you're all good to, to you know to the next morning. But you know sometimes these coins, man, they they go they go all red and they go all red and there's nothing you can do. And, uh, you know, you, if you, if you don't have your stop loss set, uh, you can lose all your gains and then some, you know, so, you, you know, this, the, the, the market is so volatile, you know, um, I am working on the teaching. I'm, I'm in the middle of putting it all together. Uh, I should be coming out with it very soon. Um, when I come out with it, I'm going to keep everything just as simple as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to cover several key points, you know, to look at. And this is one of the things that we're going to look at is that, you know, is the trend of these markets that sometimes they just all want to turn red. Now we have some in the green this morning. Um, but most of, but they're pretty much all on a downward trend. A lot of these green numbers are just, are just from the rises from the past 24 hours. These, you know, the, these are numbers from the past 24 hours. But everything is pretty much on a downtrend right now. So, so uh, this does spell opportunity. It does because you know when they're down, there's some you know it's a good opportunity to you know to get in on some coins and uh, because because we know that they're going to go back up again. I mean by the end of the day or sometime tomorrow, they'll be all green again. You know it's just I th I thought that most of this was over once August first was done, but no we're we're you know we're still we're still back in the same thing about every. Third day, fourth day, we see them all go red, you know, so so uh, we just need to keep that in mind. So let's let's move on. OK, uh, let's do a review of what we had on Saturday. First one is pink coin. We were we were right on this on this third um, candle right here. And I was saying, you know, keep an, uh, watch out for the retrace. It's go, uh, it, it, it had shot up. It was actually on its way up. But it wasn't a good time to take a position because, you know, eventually it's going to top out. It's just going to drop, in which it did. You know, the next candle, it dropped, dropped like a rock. But, um, you know, I said it could, you know, could be the beginning of, of a trend, of a nice little trend. And that's exactly what we saw. You know, we had the retrace here, a little bit of a bump. So um, if you got in here, that's all well and good. If, if you waited to the bottom right here and then saw your confirmation with the two candles, then you really, really did well. I mean, there there was a potential, depending upon where you got in and where you jumped off, we saw about a 35% jump in pink coin from 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 the bottom to the top. So, you know, you could have made anywhere from 5, 10, 20, 30%, maybe, 
maybe even the whole 35 percent you know if you're if you're a real savvy trader um so yeah you know it's a good day for pink coin okay then we took a look at bitmark um bitmark had actually um we saw two nice little jumps out of out of bitmark and uh you know i said to you know maybe take a look at it we were right about here um you could have thought about if you're adventurous you know you could have thought about maybe t taking a position hopefully you waited um it, you know it was definite retrace i was uh, I was hoping that we're looking at a good trend. I, you know, I drew, I drew a support line. I said, you know, if it if it, if it uh, breaks through that support line, it's going to go down. If it just tests it and and continues to pop back up, because he's in greater numbers, well, it it you know definitely broke the support line. However, you know, we we saw um, I put out a uh, email alert last night because of this um, of the consolidation that we saw right here. The bands were coming together really good. And uh, it was consolidating really, really, really hard. And I mean, you know, just just coming down to nothing. It was it was, you know, kind of in a little bit of a downward trend a little bit. But I believe that there was a good chance that it could have, you know, it could have gone either way. And so I, I sent an alert last night letting everybody know, you know, keep an eye on this because it could go either way. And when it does go, it's going to go big. Well, it, it went down. OK, I was I was hoping it would go up, but, you know. It was definitely something to keep an eye on because this is the kind of thing we look for where we get the big jumps, where we make the big money really quick. You know, we, we see these huge spikes when they consolidate like this and then, you know, maybe a pump and dump, whatever it may be. But, you know, um, uh, these are the kind of things that we look for. And sure enough, you know, once once we saw this first candle shooting down, that was an indication of what it was getting ready to do. And that's exactly what it did. So, yeah, nothing to be made from Bitmark. Okay, Digibyte. You can see that uh, Digibyte's dropping pretty hard right now. Um, we were right about here when we were looking at it on Saturday, um, and you can see, you know, that that we did we we did have you know some, somewhat of an upper trend. It consolidated here, and then we saw a nice little jump here. I actually sent an email, email alert last night when we when we when I saw it beginning to go up again. And uh, hopefully you made about 10%. I actually got some, you know, some feedback from some people and said that they made 10% really quick. So that's good. But it's dropping like a rock now. So, um, so yeah, hopefully you got out. And, uh, you know, we you made some money on Digibyte. Okay, made safe. We were right about in here. Uh, it looked like we might have been on a little bit of an upper trend on Saturday. Uh, we actually had, uh, we're actually right about in here. We saw, you know, saw it kind of topped out and then just dropped like a rock. So, um, hopefully you waited, uh, you know, I told you to keep, you know, keep an eye on your markers. Uh, it was a little high, I told you to wait until, you know, until it comes down, until it hits the mark and then take a position at that point, you know, see if, if it, if it pierced that support line well. It pierced it and it dropped hard. However, if you were watching it when it hit this bottom and you and you began to see, you know, some some uh, you know some green with a confirmation, especially once you got up in here, you know, you you pulled at least five percent out of this, maybe more, out of this coin, you know, during this jump. Um, not a whole lot more going on with it. It basically just started, to, you know, started working its way down. Like many of these coins did over you know over the weekend, even though we saw everything turn green yesterday, we really didn't see any big huge numbers out of anything, and now everything's red. But uh, I think we're going to see some big jumps here soon. Okay, Sissy Coin, uh, man, Sissy Coin had a great weekend. We were right about in here, right at, right around the 15:30 mark, somewhere in here. I told you it was consolidating hard. It was getting ready to make a move, and sure enough, it did. Um, you might have had a couple opportunities to make some good money out of this, but if you jumped in at the bottom and rode it to the top, you had, you you had the potential of around 25% profit on this coin. So, yeah, you know, good weekend for Sissy Coin. Of course, it's dropping like a rock, just like everything else right now. Um, but yeah, you know, some good good profits made out of this coin over the weekend. Okay, Expanse. We were right about here, roughly in here. We were seeing it go up. Uh, you know, drew the support line, 
you know, looking to, you know, to see if it's going to test it and work its way back up. Well, it, 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 I think it tested it one more time. We saw a small jump, no big gains, nothing like that. And, and, and then sure enough, it broke through and just kind of worked its way down, consolidated through. And, uh, you know, we could have seen maybe some higher numbers, but, but because everything turned red, this one turned red with the rest of it and it dropped. So, you know, that's, that's where we're at. When we see this consolidation, when we, when we see it coming tight like this, you can see it kind of, it kind of broke that, you know, that, that, that top line for the Bollinger Band, which, which a lot of times can be a good indication of, of the direction that it's going to go. But because, you know, everything turned red, the manipulation that's going on with these markets, um, you know, it, it, it just dropped like a rock. I mean, when it, when it gets like this, there's just not much you can do, you know? Okay, guys, uh, the picks for today, I tell you, I, I don't have much. I don't have much because everything's going down and it is impossible to tell who's going to make the jump first, you know, um, and when, um, uh, you know, you saw, you saw a coin market cap. I mean, all of them are on, on a downward trend. I haven't seen it like this. I haven't seen a day like this since, since before August 1st. Um, so it's anybody's guess at this point, but I'm just going to throw out a few coins there. I was looking at Lisk, but Lisk uh, is actually moving back down again. When I was looking at it earlier, we, you know, it looked like it might be in a little bit of an upward move, but it's back, you know, on its way back down. So um, ZRX, Oxcoin, I've never actually invested in this coin, but the, you know, this coin's had some pretty good movement over, uh, recently. So uh, and it looks like we might be seeing a little bit of, you know, breakout here. I don't know um, if we, you know, if we if we drew a resistance line down through here. You can see that it kind of broke through, so we could be looking at, uh, you know, some some something beginning with Oxcoin. So just kind of keep an eye on it. Okay, the next one that I'm looking at, you know, is Strat. Uh, you know, we're we're seeing a lot of seeing a lot of bouncing going on with Strat right now. Um, you know, we can see a little bit of a retrace. We saw a fairly decent jump. You know, pretty, actually a pretty good jump right here. Um, and so it looks like it's retracing. We, you know, you, you could see another jump with this one, you know, keep an eye on it. If we, if you see a confirmation like this and, you know, um, there's, there's a good chance you could pull five, maybe 10% out of this one, just depending upon when everything starts to turn green again today. So, uh, so yeah, you know, keep an eye on Strat. Okay. Uh, I was looking at library credits cause it looked like it might've been moving up just a little bit. Library credit sometimes is one of those coins when everything's red. This one, not, you know, sometimes will make that upward move. Um, when the others are going red, this one's going green. But I don't know if we're going to see that today with this one. You know, I'll tell you guys, I just, I, it's just one of those days. You know, I don't know what to tell you. That I, I really can't give you any real solid picks for the day. Um, the, the only thing I can say is, um, for those of you that are on my email alert, I'll be keeping an eye on everything today and letting you know, you know, how, th how things are going, where we're at on a lot of this. So, uh, you know, just stay, you know, um, watch out for my email alert. That's, that, that's about the best that I can do right now. For those of you that aren't signed up for it, you know, shoot me an email. I'll put you on. I'm sorry if I sound a little tired today, guys. I just I had a really, really busy weekend and I uh, didn't get a whole lot of rest. And I've just been, it's been a very, very, very busy weekend. So, um, okay, guys, that's it for today. I'm sorry there's not much, but there's a lot of potential, you know, a lot of potential. This, you know, this, um, when everything goes red like this, this is opportunity. This is opportunity. I mean, any of these coins, when they start going green, you know, there's the large majority of these coins you could jump on and pull 10% out of them, you know, when, once everything starts turning green, because they all seem to, when it, when it's like this, when one goes green, they all seem to go green at the same time. So it's anybody's guess as to which one's going to make for, make the jump first. All right, guys, be blessed. And um, my teaching will be coming out very soon. Please shoot me an email uh, to let you know when, when it's ready. And uh, you guys have a good day.